Noify's AIA style invoicing feature can make it easier for you to submit AIA style invoice documents to your customers. To enable this in your account, first go to your admin section under Customize and then enable AIA style invoice documents. Then when you're creating a new job, you'll see that you have the fixed price with AIA billing option. Creating these contracts is very similar to your standard fixed price. Once the contract's active, you'll see additional fields for the GC's contract number and contract date. This is also when you'll put in the retainage percentage for the amount that the customer will be retaining on every invoice that you submit. Once this information is in the system, you can click Invoice Now at the top of the screen. First, you'll be prompted for the last date of the billing period. Then, in a standard AIA format, it'll ask for a percentage of completed work, as well as the total amount of materials stored to date. You also have the ability to enter these both as dollar figures. This way, if you don't want to use percentages, you can put in dollars and dollars. Or, if you don't want to use stored materials and just want to put in a lump sum dollar value, you can use our third option, where we just enter the amount we'd like to invoice in this period. Noify will also prevent you from entering any values that are above the contract. So if you enter in too large of a percentage or too large of a dollar figure, you'll get a warning preventing you from sending the customer too large of an invoice. Once the values are in the system, you can preview what's going to be on the invoice by clicking Show Output. This will show you the first page of the AIA invoice document. Once everything is set, you can click Verify and Finalize to create the invoice. It'll summarize how much you're requesting in this period and how much the client is retaining to date, and you can email it directly to the client. You'll see that this generates the standard G702 and G703 form, which can be downloaded in a PDF format. The first page will summarize the payment due to date, and the second page will summarize the schedule values from the contract. Then, back in the Invoice Details screen, you'll have the ability to record the payment when the client has submitted their check. Aside from being able to create new invoices from the contract screen, in your Manage Invoices page, you can also click Add New Invoice and type in the name of the job. You'll see that AIA style invoice jobs will be tagged so you can know which ones are which. This will pull you right to the same screen that we were working in earlier, and filling out the fields will create the invoice. Although retainage is generally billed at the end of the project when everything else has been invoiced, you do have the ability to invoice retainage midway through the contract's life cycle. Clicking Edit in this contract screen will let you change the percentages that's being retained to date. You can either go to a lower percentage or to zero to invoice the remainder of the retainage, and the next invoice you create will automatically factor in the amount that's been retained so far. Or, when we're creating our last invoice, this process will be automated. Once every field is filled in with 100%, you'll see a checkbox that says Invoice Retainage Separately. This way you can choose to include retainage in this last invoice. You'll see now my output shows that there is nothing being retained. However, if I check this box again, then it'll show that there's still a value being retained and it'll be invoiced on the next invoice we send to the customer. So now, since the project has been 100% invoiced, I can go back to the contract and see how much has been retained to date and click this button to invoice the retainage now. You'll see that it pulls me into a standard invoice format instead of an AIA style invoice since we no longer have to track our schedule values and it'll generate an invoice for the total value retained to date. Also, in our Manage Invoices section, we'll be able to see which invoices have come out in an AIA style with the GC label to the left. If you have any other questions on AIA invoicing or how it works in Noify, please don't hesitate to reach out to support at noify.com.